how to change the thickness of a hello mesh hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you if you have already a hello mesh and you want to either close it um, so it becomes a solid or if you want to change the thickness actually so how you solve that so at first this is a selection problem the idea here is we need to split off the insides from the outside and then i take one of them either just the outside or just the inside and use again the add thickness the same way we do it normally but the problem here is how do I select this? And let me explain the problem. So if I go to polygon selection, I can start selecting polygons, but these are like, you have so many polygons here. If I turn on this, this is like, has a lot of triangles, a lot of polygons and selecting this, split them off. You can do it using my key selection and start playing, start selecting, but it's quite difficult to select everything, especially if you want to select the inside and then picking in top layers, it's quite difficult. So the other solution would be if you go to the advanced settings and polygon selection and turn on the tolerance, the problem here would be that the tolerance would also select the inside and outside. They will jump over from the inside to the outside. It will be very difficult to select. So the solution here is quite simple. You first turn over tol uh, tolerance, you select the top, and you delete them. And once it's deleted, you actually have here the inside is split off from the outside. So if I'm going now to turn back on the tolerance, I can easily select. Um, I can easily select the turn on this okay it's like this entire thing over here and will never jump over to the other side because they are split off even if i go close to the top oh, if i click again where it's selected it will deselect so let's go over here and i have to just make sure to select everything and i can see over here how this is actually selected everything so i'm just gonna exit now and click delete so i'm deleting the or, or actually inverse select because i want to delete the inside so I'm going to inverse select. So I've selected the entire inside and I'm going to delete the inside. So now I have a basic hollow, uh, a basic mesh that has no thickness. And now I have two options. I can close it. In this case, I go simply to um, fill polygons and I click like uh, fill polygons. You see, this is closed basically. And this is back a solid without anything, without a problem. But if I want to add the thickness, I can now do the same way we normally do. I go to add thickness. And I can add the thickness, let's say a negative five. And voila, here you go. This is added. Now you can add the thickness how much you need. And that's basically done. So this is how you do it. Now I want to show you another thing here is actually that if you see over here, this added kind of a beveled the way this was added. And the way we got it originally was this flat. So how would you fix this problem? And actually, this is also quite simple, the same thing. I select the top. So I can select this, maybe a little bit more tolerance. So select just this top. And I can probably increase tolerance a little bit, but main thing is just select this. Doesn't matter how. And let's see here. Okay, so once I've selected the top, I can just go to the flatten tool. And I can then decide to move it up or move it down. So let's say I want to move it up. Simply moving it up. And that's it, it's flat, top is flat. You can see over here, if I turn off my tolerance completely, this is completely flat. So this is how you solve this problem, how you work with existing meshes, uh, manifold, I mean, uh, uh, hollowed object, how you convert them back and forth and change the thickness. I hope this was helpful and let me know in the comments if you want me to teach anything else or if you have any other questions. Thanks for watching, bye.